One of the things we all really wanted people to take away from this exhibit about women's history is that women, they're not a flock of birds. They don't go in a single line and all think together. Today we're here at A Voice of Her Own, South Carolina Women in Politics here at the South Carolina State Museum. So this exhibit looks at hundreds of years of women's political activity in South Carolina. So we decided to do this exhibit a few years ago when we realized the anniversary of the 19th Amendment is coming up, the big 100th anniversary. So we really wanted to mark that. The objects in the show have been collected over decades. So since we were started in 1977, people have been collecting objects. So almost all of the objects in the show are actually from our permanent collection. Some of it's just about reinterpreting what we already had. We're really lucky that we have a pair of bloomers. They were actually worn by a woman who was going to college up in Virginia and they were worn in her exercise class. Bicycles and bloomers were very popular in the early 1900s, so when the suffragette movement nationally was really gaining a lot of steam. They go back a few more decades with a woman who well, they were named after bloomer and she and some other women in the mid 1800s started to wear these big baggy pants that they called bloomers. But then when bicycles came around, women wanted to ride bicycles. And so they needed pants to do that. And they started to wear these bloomers. And so seeing women going out and being, you know, independent and traveling and wearing pants was a really big cultural shift. If you wore bloomers, it was just assumed you were a suffragist a vote for women handbill that we have in the collection. We're really excited about it because it actually dates to the suffragist movement in 1920. And it was owned by a young woman named Shirley Black Brown, who was a student at USC at the time. She was also a suffragette and she wanted to promote women getting the vote here in South Carolina. We often hear pundits talk about the women's vote as if women all have the same concerns or issue. And that was true in the colonial period all the way up to today. So it really depends on class and other issues that women have going on in their lives. And women are extremely diverse here in South Carolina as well. So we wanted the people to realize the fight to get women the vote and to get women participating in politics here in the state was not a foregone conclusion. It was not easy to do. All these women didn't work together. It was a long fight and it's one we're still engaged in. You know, we have yet to have a, a larger representation of women in state politics. So we hope that it inspires people to continue and build on what the others have done.